The Witch and the Broom. The witch had a cat and a very tall hat and a long ginger hair which she wore in a plait. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on a broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat when the wind blew so wildly it blew off the hat. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat but no hat could be found. Then out from the bushes, on thundering paws, the bounded a dog with a hat in his jaws. He dropped it politely, then eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head, I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there room on a broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog clambered on. The witch tapped a broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Dad? Yeah? Over the fields in the forest they flew, the dog wailed, wagged his tail and the stormy wind blew. The witch laughed aloud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow up from her long ginger plait. Well, she was concentrating on her hat too much, wasn't she? Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from the tree, with an ear-splitting shriek, they flapped a green bird. With a bow in her beak, she dropped it politely and bent her head low. Then said as a witch tied her plait in a bow, I am a bird as green as can be. Is there room on the broom for a bird like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped her broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the reeds and the rivers they flew, the bird shrieked with glee and the stormy wind blew. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch clutched her bow. But let go of a wand. Down cried the witch and they flew to the ground. They searched for the wand, but no wand could be found. Then all of a sudden, from out of the pond, there leapt a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely, then said with a croak, as the witch dried a wand on the fold of her cloak, I am a frog as clean as can be. Is there room on a broom for a frog like me? Yes, cried the witch. The frog bounded on. The witch tapped a broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and the broom snapped in two. Down fell a cat and the dog and the frog. Down they went tumbling into the bog. The witch's half a broomstick flew into a cloud and the witch heard a roar. It was scary and loud. I am a dragon as mean as can be and I'm planning to have witch and chips for my tea. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked all around, but no help could be found. The dragon drew nearer and, licking his lips, said, Maybe this one shall have witch without chips. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of the ditch rose a horrible beast. It was tall, dark and sticky, feathered and furred, it had four frightful heads, it had wings like a bird, and in its terrible voice it started to speak it was a yowl and a growl and a croak and a shriek. It dripped and it squelched as it strode from the ditch, and it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. The dragon drew black and he started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered, I made a mistake. It's nice to have met you, but now I must fly. He spread out his wings and was off through the sky. Then down flew the bird, down jumped the frog, down climbed the cat and phew said the dog and thank you, oh thank you, the grateful witch cried. Without you I'd be in that dragon's inside. Then she filled up a cauldron and said with a grin, find something everybody, throw something in. So the frog found a lily, the cat found a cone, the bird found a twig and the dog found a bone. They threw them all in which stirred them well. And while she was stirring, she muttered the spell. Iggity, ziggity, zaggity, zoom. Then out rose a truly magnificent broom. With seats for the witch and the cat and the dog. A nest for the bird and a shower for the frog. Yes, cried the witch and they all clambered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. The end.